Hola everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jesus and this is Weirdo Beauty. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I get my flawless base routine, go through all my foundation routine, kind of like a little chit chat, get ready with me if you want. Let's get started. Off camera, I already did my eyes, and if you want to turn on these eyes, let me know, because I just think they're really pretty. Off camera, I already applied my primer, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer Serum, because earlier I was filming my, I was filming this video, but then I forgot that I was supposed to put in my headphones, because the last video I had audio issues, so hopefully using my headphones will pick up on the mic and you won't have any more audio issues because last time that sucked. And I already primed my primer off camera because I was filming it, filming the same edited video earlier, but then I realized that the audio is going to be all off today. So, so hopefully you can hear me better today. First I'm taking my beauty sponge from LA Colors and I already rinsed it and um, soaked it in water off camera. I'm taking a little bit of my setting spray and I'm just soaking that beauty, that beauty sponge into the setting spray because I saw I think Rob Beauty Christie or James Charles do this hack so see if it works because they say that soaking your beauty blender your, or your beauty sponge and setting spray will help set your makeup better so let's see what happens then I'm taking my elf flawless finish foundation adding two drops onto the beauty sponge and the, my foundation's in the shade nude and then I'm also going to take my e.l.f. Nourishing Facial Oil and I'm dropping two drops onto the, where I applied the foundation on the beauty sponge because I saw many MUA do this in a few videos back where he applied a little bit of oil onto, facial oil onto his foundation to make it look a little less cakey but it would look a little more not so heavy because we all know we don't want cakey foundation well, we're getting off all this base and I'm just applying the foundation all over my face, a few dots, and I'm just blending it out. So how is, I, how is everybody doing today? How was your quarantine? If you're still in quarantine, how's your day? How's your week? How's your year? My year's okay. Let me know how you guys are doing. Right now we're not in quarantine right now where I am, but the governor in my state is rolling back restrictions because of all the cases that are rising here, how many people are getting cases. And I also got tested last Thursday, and hopefully I'm getting results in a few days, hopefully by tomorrow or Thursday. And we'll see what happens, because I was sick around the first, I was sick for a few days, and I don't know, I had like a headache, kind of difficulty breathing, high, I had a fever, I was feeling dizzy, so I didn't want to get tested then because I didn't want to risk giving it to anybody else and also wanted to get better so that way if I didn't have it, if I did go out, I didn't want to catch it again or catch it. And yeah, so hopefully in a few days or tomorrow I'm get my test results back. And hopefully it's negative, but I know my mom got tested too and hers is negative, so Hopefully mine says the same, but either way, I think everybody eventually has to get it, either to build immunity or once we get a vaccine, I don't know, the world is a scary place right now, especially with all of the police brutality and, you know, having Trump as our president, you know, yeah, 2020 is a rough year. Especially for a lot of people. I was gonna say me, but compared to other people, it's not that bad. But it's not the best year, I'm gonna say. Take a little more foundation on my sponge to blend down my neck because we don't wanna have a like a James Charles situation <laughs> where our foundation doesn't match our neck. And it looks like a big old separation mark. So what have you guys been what have you guys been doing lately? I've just been I've just been sitting at home. Hanging out with my mom, with my cat, watching YouTube, Netflix, watching movies, doing makeup, nail art, and just trying to survive during this crazy time. And right now, since it was my birthday last month, I got a free one month trial for Hulu. Um, and right now I've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race because I just want to see if it was worth the hype. and. Actually, we're liking it in the first few seasons, but I can't wait to get into late, later seasons, especially when 
I don't know if they have the newest season with Crystal Method. Because mm, I think she's really cute without, um, outside of Jack, especially her, um, her mullet. It's really cute. Just kind of trying to do that, but it looks okay. But yeah, that's what I've been watching. RuPaul's Drag Race, YouTube videos, and yeah, just trying to stay home. Not go out as much. Yeah. Now we don't want the foundation. I'm gonna take my concealer. First, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. Oh, I got some on my mirror. Oh no. Ew, get off. Ew, it's on my mirror now. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit on the outer corner of my eyes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit in the corner as well, just a little bit. Because I know that sometimes I watch Nikki tutorials and she does this where she applies a darker concealer to cancel out all of the darkness and then a lighter concealer to brighten up. I'm also applying some, some of that concealer where I have any pimples, any zits, stuff like that. Yeah, why is there a hair on my mouth? Thank you. Just a little bit of concealer in the places where I have. Some zip and stuff. And with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory, I'm gonna apply also as well underneath on my underneath my eyes, all over just to brighten up my eyes. I need to mix it in with the concealer I applied earlier. Just to brighten up my eyes, a bit of the center of my forehead. A bit on my nose and a little bit on my chin just to add brightness to the center of my face, bring attention to it. Let's blend it out with my concealer. What are you guys' plans for the fall? If, are, you, are, you going, are you going to go back to school or your parents? If you're watching this and you're going to school, if you're still with your parents, are they going to let you go to school? Are they going to homeschool you? Online school? Let me know because. I know there's a lot of talk about whether we should let kids back to school or not. And always important for kids to go to school to help their, to mentally, mentally stimulate them. And to teach them social inter interactions, but also teach them about important subjects. But right now it's kind of dangerous to send kids to school during the pandemic. Because even though kids might not get sick as easily or die as easily, it's a little bit dark, um, they can still spread it. And that's kind of scary, especially if they have older parents or grandparents. Or they could spread it to other kids who might have a uncompromised immune system or a lower immune system. And I don't know. For me, I'm actually going to go... Um, I applied to college for the fall. The classes, but I don't know if that's gonna be online or in person because I applied for cosmetology school. It's gonna be kind of hard to learn about cosmetology online. Maybe just a few students will go each day, or I don't know. Life isn't normal. Is life isn't life isn't gonna be normal for a few for a few months until they find a vaccine. So we just have to get used to it. It's like. Especially people who complain about just open the country already, everything's fine, or you know, um, people are like complaining, like I'm gonna go to Disneyland, or, I want to get a haircut, or just complaining about meaningless things, because like you complaining isn't going to bring back the economy or isn't gonna magically get rid of the virus. Just like wait it out. There's a lot of things that we humans are privileged about, like we don't need haircuts, we don't need to go to the movies, we don't need to we need to go to gyms. I mean, people can go to gyms to get healthy, but like we don't need gymnasiums open or pools. Like our ancestors, they freaking our ancestors, they. You know, swam in the ocean, swam in lakes. They didn't cut their hair. 
and I mean they're probably fit because they're running around chasing zebras or <laughs> whatever they chased back then but I don't know today we're just getting used to having everything like easy and complaining about little things I don't know it just irritates me I don't know if it's just me I don't think it's just me but nice and bright under the eyes so I don't look I had to look like I got some sleep and I kind of slept late and I actually got this new I actually got this new powder from Bare Minerals for my birthday as well I think it's for my birthday no I got their blush and their mascara for my birthday and because I had to buy something to get my free birthday gift I actually bought their mineral veil powder from Bare Minerals and tried it out the other day and it was pretty good because when I set it under my eyes it really set it because they were dry. They were gonna budge a move. Just taking a little bit of that powder and dusting, not dusting it, but you know, dropping it into the cap. And I'm gonna set my eyes with that. And anywhere else I apply the lighter concealer because I don't want my whole face, face to be powdered. Yeah, this powder actually turned out to be nice. Usually I've been just using my. Cody Airspun powder. Oh, there's also another one that I use sometimes from Maybelline. And I was hesitant about buying new powder because, like, those are. I don't need to buy more powder. Should I buy more powder? I don't want to be wasting my money or throwing powder away because I know that powder makeup lasts longer than liquid makeup. But I've had those powders for a while, so I don't know. I was debating whether to throw them out or not. But. I don't think I'm gonna throw them out just yet, unless they start to smell funny. So I don't wanna waste my money. Because I have a little bit of makeup. I'm not a huge beauty guru. I have normal, kind of normal amount of makeup that I use. So, if you're bored of me using the same products, you know why, because I don't have that much money to spend on oodles of makeup. I want to make out concealer in my eyelashes. Oh no. Mm. Oh well. I'll just switch that with some mascara later on. Have you listened to Chromatica yet? If you haven't, you're missing out because that album is amazing. And I will admit, when I first listened to it, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like it. I was like, this is kind of underwhelming. But after a year, sorry, my camera cut off. Anyways, after I listened to it a couple of times, I was like, I just like it. For me, my favorite songs are probably Rain On Me, A Thousand Doves, and either Free Women or Fun Tonight, my top three. And it's funny because I know that everyone on Twitter and social media are debating where the, which are the best songs. I don't know, let me know what your favorites are. Next, we're do, doing some bronzer. And for that, I'm using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Bikini Contest. And I'm taking... Actually, I'm gonna take a big old brush from ELF. Don't know what the name of it is, it just says 101. But I'll look it up later. And Flash on the screen. I'm taking some of that powder and apply some on my cheekbones just to give a nice bronzy look. This one has a little bit of shimmer, but not a lot, so that way it makes it look nice and healthy glow to your skin. I usually use a smaller brush, but bronzer. I'm not an expert on where you should apply makeup, but I heard that bronzer should go where the sun naturally hits you. And just applying it all over cheeks like this could make it seem like I got a nice tan from the sun. I'm also applying some on my my forehead to get rid of that five head, especially with my hairdo today. You can see my receding hairline. And we all want that. Yeah, my big old five head. Get rid of that. Are you guys excited for Katy Perry's new album? I kind of am. We've been missing an album for few years since Witness came out, like three years ago. And 
to be honest. I wasn't that excited, kind of, but especially since those songs, Harley's, Harley's in Hawaii and Small Talk came out, they're like kind of underwhelming for singles. But I actually like Never Really Over and Smile. Those are really nice songs. So I'm kind of I'm kind of hesitant about her, the whole clown concept, especially in the music video for Smile, where she's like just like a clown. I'm like, this is kind of cute, I guess, but I'm like, I'm not living for it. It's giving me like Disney vibes or I don't know, like little kid vibes, kind of like what you did with the Super Bowl with the dancing sharks and the all the dancing trees and surfboards, but. Let's not judge it too early. You can see that. My lighting kind of sucks since I film in natural light. That's another thing. If you wonder why I film in nat a natural light, it's because, I don't know. A lot of beauty gurus use artificial lighting. And you can't really see the makeup that well, kind of. Sorry for the interruptions again. My mom just brought me some food. Some Wendy's. So if you hear any chewing, you know why. There's got a spicy chicken and some fries and a soda. Anyways, continuing the makeup. On an angled wet and wild brush, I'm taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour, 12 hour blush in the shade Quirky. Putting that up on the brush, taking off the excess, just applying it to the apples of my cheeks right underneath my eye. Just to give a little bit of cute peachy glow. Well, not glow, but a nice peachy. Look for the blush. The blush is looking a little heavy. I'm take a look at my beauty sponge, blend that out. Do I look like a clown? What I'm doing to your Katy Perry here. I'm just kidding, Katy Perry. Love you. Anyways. I really want to get a new camera just so that way I don't have to use my phone. I don't know if you can tell, but I use my phone to film my videos. We'll see, maybe, hopefully, get a new camera. Especially since my camera only has a little bit of memory, I have to delete things over and over again just to be able to film videos. It's kind of annoying. But later on, I'm gonna get a new, hopefully in the fall. When the new iPhone comes out, I'm gonna get Because right now I have an iPhone 7 Plus. I could upgrade to an iPhone 10. Hopefully. What was that face? Should we watch it again? Yeah. So I'm looking at the camera. Just a chit chat, chit chit chat, get ready with me. So if you need to just not get me ready, just watch with me. Or you can just watch me. I'm playing makeup, I put me in the background. Whatever you wanna do. Last step. Highlight her, my favorite part. So I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm all over Veil Diamond Balm in the shade How Many Carrots. And first, give myself a good spritz of setting spray just to give her the powder texture of my face. I, my cap fell, but give myself a good spritz. The last video I made making weird faces when I'm setting spray. But hopefully, I'm not making any today, but I can't make any promise. <coughs> <coughs> Don't tall your setting spray. We're not trying to eat it. And I'm actually gonna take that little bit of the, take the highlighter on my finger first. And I'm taking a lot of it, actually. I'm gonna apply it to the very tops of my cheekbones. And I also applied that highlighter underneath my brow bone and a little bit of my inner corner. Just cause it's really pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this color. You can see that I have a nice glow. It's look like one of the stars sitting on your face. It's really pretty. I think I'm doing it on this side because you can't even see it. You can kind of see it, but not that much. I'm also going to play with the leftover. Not the leftover, but a little bit on my finger. Just applying it on my forehead. Just to give that nice glow. 
with my pat my forehead wasn't so bland and plain. Just a little bit on top of my brows. Just a nice glow. Oh, something hurts on my eye. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. small smudge brush. Just a very tiny packer brush. It's like a rounded one. Taking my highlighter and applying it down the bridge of my nose, kind of like an exclamation point. Down the very, down just the bridge. Making it as small as I can. Highlighter. Just applying a little dot on the tip of my nose. Kind of give you that face tuned look in real life. I love this highlighter. Just, just my, my highlighter isn't too extreme. Sorry for the interruptions again. My camera keeps cutting off. I have to make sure that highlighter doesn't look too intense. Don't want to leave a streak. Just blending it out with my e.l.f. Oh, it's just a highlighter brush. It's number 107. I'll look it up later. I love a good blending highlight. You don't want to look too intense. I'm gonna give myself one final spritz of my setting spray, which is by Rimmel. The Stay Matte Fix and Go 2 in 1 Primer Setting Spray. And just spritz myself all over my face with my setting spray. Just set that makeup in place. And I'm just gonna go off camera and do my lips. And I'll be right back to do my outro. <coughs> so I'll setting spray again. Alrighty, one, I'm back. Do my lips. If you're wondering, I use the NYX Turned Up Lipstick in the shade Wine and Dine. I wanted to change it from a usual nude and glossy because it's getting kind of boring. I was like, I want to do the same thing over and over again. But yeah, this tutorial is not complete. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel, watch another video, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. You can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at JesusCH with an extra U and on Twitter and TikTok at JesusCH underscore, also with an extra U. I'll see you on the next video. Adios!